He's letting the coaches know he wants to play. He'll get a lot more minutes after this afternoon. Mike Tisdale, a 7 for 1 center of Illinois. He fouled out with only four points and no rebounds after scoring a career high 31 in his last game against Northwestern. Now Davis should be able to offensive rebound in there if there's a missed shot. He's got Goodson guarding him. Kamey in and out, rebound to Bolden. As his presence, Bill, more and more felt as this game is worn out. Mm -hmm. Junior guard, senior guard, as he now gets the ball back outside to a freshman. And they go right to the box for Bolden. You see, they you might have to double. That's it. Super nice quick. Pass. Sacre. Look at him tip to himself, Harris. And over the back on Harris. Gonzaga. 16,100 miles they'll have traveled. I don't know where it is. Mention their staff, Ray Jack and Of course, there as well. Along with Leon Rice, Tommy Lloyd. They've been together a while. The kids just play. Here's McCamey, Bill. He's been quiet for a while, but he's been a big factor for the Illini. And they got the mismatch, Bolden and Davis. And Bolden is stronger. We're in overtime. Richardson, a freshman, launches. Look at that. Harris, get up. Put back. Rebound. Oh, got a push off. Gray, and he was fouled. And I think Gray pushed off. In the 70s. One of the best player in Illinois. Yes. One of those guys that makes plays seven assists, second to the NCAA. It should be a heck of a game. And we got one here. We do indeed, and the Illini have taken back the lead by one in overtime. Same set, cross screen on the baseline to a double. Here it comes again. Holden, who is more and more as the game is worn out, has asserted himself the leader of this Gonzaga team. Illinois Bill ratcheting up his defense. Holden to the basket. Off a zag inbound to the Illini. Nice and in traffic. And that is now 20 turnovers for Gonzaga. They didn't have a turnover for the first 12 or 13 minutes of this game. Oh, not the kind of time you want to gamble, boy. They got a block? They do. Averaging 5.6 assists a game. In. The Illini earlier this year was down by 23 at Clemson. Came back to win today. They were down by 21. They got Zaga. And they now have a three point lead over the Zags. Might not be a bad time to use Harris or Sacre on the box. They've been riding Bolden. He might be a little fatigued. Tough to get that entry pass. Nice move by Harris. Unfortunately, it's still in play. We're at the United Center in Chicago. A fantastic game between Gonzaga and the Illinois Fighting Illini with the ball, leading Gonzaga by three in overtime. 2.25 to play in overtime. The first overtime, there could be more. Uh, right now, Keller's been doing a great job. He's on the floor to using a ball screen, and they got a mismatch with Keller. He can make this. Look at this kid come up with stuff. He's just been all over the floor. What? Major collision, but no harm, no foul. Two <laughs> guys are on the deck. Everything goes. It's a Blackhawk game, right? Is it what? It's the Blackhawks. <laughs> so all game long. A factor. Let's see. They go 2 3. The danger rebounded, but they're going to force a deep shot. Mark Kiro up, calling a play. Big trip for the Zags. They need a hit here. Down by three in overtime. Bolden. Oh! Broken of beauty. Oh, how about that kick out? Uh, <laughs> confidence of Sacre to make that look. Some fine work by the Zags, and they've tied the game in overtime with a minute and a half to go. I'm just thinking, Bill, uh, we might have two of these. Yeah, that's all right with me. Great <laughs> town to be in. Down screen, and let's see if Drew Jordan gets. 19,000 plus. Standing room only at the United Center. In and out. And the Zags come down with a rebound looking to take the lead. in a tie game, 105 to play in OT. Straight man. Ball screen, this could open if he could turn the corner. 
Who's going to take the big shot? This guy's been making them all day. He's not a fluke. He's rebound. Oh, almost stopped for the help ball with yeah. the Zags. Excuse me. And a tie game. The Zags ready to inbound the ball, and it's not easy against this Illinois defense. As Bolden almost looked like he's trying to yeah. call timeout. They changed his mind and kind of freed himself. Shot clock at 25, game clock at 32. Bill Harrison, shot play on the box, but they go double for Bolden. Timeout. Mark Few not really happy with what they're running. And Zag are ready to inbound the ball. Conley into backcourt, and it goes back over now to Dimitri Goodson, sophomore point guard from Spring, Texas. Uh, same play, double. They get Harris on the box. Harris is heading to the rack. Ooh. He's up and down. It's tough. The shot clock is off. The game clock down to 10 seconds in overtime. Got to go quick. See if he can offensive rebound. McKamey, a hope. It's off. Zaga rebounds. And the Zags in overtime have come back to win 85 to 83. A phenomenal game. Not good clock management. You go to the rim, score quickly, maybe you can get a tip in. Go. Where the final score is Gonzaga 85 and Illinois 83. Tremendous game. Matt Bolden leading the way for Gonzaga in overtime.